goes deep. He says, I'm thinking end zone, actually. Matter of fact, I'm thinking end zone. Well, hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome to year four of Mad 20 Subscriber League with the playoffs the divisional round before we take a look at today's matchup we have the colts taking on the chargers you got the the freaking champion defenders we're about to watch the colts they won last year's super bowl um but let's just take a quick little look at what we have in the divisional round here you go chiefs taking on pittsburgh the cardinals taking on the seahawks the chart wait no the cardinals taking on the seahawks the chargers taking on the colts and the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Bears. That will be next episode. In today's episode, we will hop into the Chargers taking on the Colts. So before we hop into those games, let's let's uh let's take a look at the rosters. We should be pretty familiar with the Chargers since we watched them not too long ago, but also the Colts since they won last year's Super Bowl. But we're gonna take a look real quick. So Let's do that. Ryan Br Rylan Brown, of course, we know he's the only subscriber on the Chargers. He's trying to carry this team himself. We've never had a subscriber win a Super Bowl by himself, basically. Um, and when I say by himself, I mean him being the only subscriber on that team, of course. Of course, there's guys out there fighting for it as well. Just they're not subscribers. So moving on to the Colts. These guys are the champions, and in my opinion right now, they are my favorites, but I don't want to jinx anything. <laughs> I don't want to ruin their run. But they do look good. They have a Luke Carnahan, a guy who won the quarterback of the year. So congratulations to him. They have Keen uh, Nil. He's just he's, he's played phenomenal his whole career. Matter of fact, let's take a look really quick what they got to um, try and stop here as, yeah, dude, he's deadly. <laughs> He is deadly. This uh, 2030 is the year he won his first ever Super Bowl. You see what he did that season. He only played better. You're going to have to stop this guy. And he's a running back that doesn't really get talked about much and he needs he deserves his respect. Not only that, we have subscriber Dak Live, wide receiver. He's going to be playing in the slot 23 years old. Um can't wait to see this guy. Then I believe that might be no, it's not it. Of course it's not it. History fact here for Madden Subscriber League. Steven Cruz, the only, the only Super Bowl MVP that is a subscriber. He is the only subscriber to have ever won, not just a Super Bowl, but a Super Bowl MVP. Steven Cruz, middle linebacker. He, he will have an effect on this game. He, he will change the difference if you let him. Um, don't throw it down the middle. He's, he's known for that. So those are all the subscribers to watch out for. We all know the Chargers going into this game are the underdogs. I mean, they're 8-7-1. They're taking on the 12-4 Indianapolis Colts. They are in Indianapolis. Let's see what, let's see what happens here, guys. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's not waste any time. Uh, I, wanna, I don't want to say it's not a big game because it's a very big game. We're just not going to uh, watch the open drive is all I'm saying. So... We're going to kind of let this game pick up pace first, and then we'll hop in. So Rylan Brown in pass. He has to throw it away. Pressure coming. Uh, then he finds Manny Anderson for two yards. And then they go backwards. Penalty against the defense. Fourth and eight. Three and out. That's not good against the Colts, especially with such a stacked team that they are. Um, you're going to have to watch out for these guys. Is in Indianapolis a dynasty? I remember when we first watched the Chicago Bears win their, their first ever Super Bowl in year number one. Everyone was like, uh-oh, Dynasty in Chicago is brewing up. Do we actually have the first Dynasty in the series? Like, that would be crazy. And we're already, already, with 8 minutes and 30 seconds still to go in the first quarter, we're watching our first possession, and it's the Colts. We'll see what they can do. They're on their, uh, they're on their opponent's 31-yard line. And it's Luke Carnahan, the NFL MVP, or, well, not NFL MVP, but the subscriber's best quarterback award went to him. He is the best subscriber 
quarterback of this season. Let's see what he can do. Spotlight's on him. It's handoff, no play action. He's going to keep it. Throws it down the middle, and he throws a dot. <laughs> and he's showing already why he has got that award in his trophy case. Found, find so, uh, Sylvester there. So first and goal. It's going to be a handoff to Kinnick Neal, and yes, that's a smart play. Now, um, fun little fact here really quick, if I have time to tell it. Uh, for all you guys who demand trades quickly, take some notes. There is a guy who used to play for the Colts, and he went by the name of Christopher Jackson. That's a good play by the defense, by the way. But he went by the name of Christopher Jackson. He's a wide receiver. The year before the Colts won the Super Bowl, he demanded a trade. He went to Oakland, where Oakland didn't even make the playoffs. And he missed out on the Colts Super Bowl last year. And not only that, they're they're looking they're in the playoffs again this year. So sometimes you got to be careful for what you wish for because right now Christopher Jackson would have a one ring already on his finger. Plus, you know he'd be playing in this game right now in the playoffs. Instead, he's staring at his TV watching his old team play in games he wishes he could. But Colts. Kind of crap the bed on that drive. So they'll get the first points of the game, though, 3 0. Can the Chargers, can the underdogs get something going and surprise the world here? Second and seven. They're driving down the field. Third and two. This is a big play, and they get the first down. That's all they needed. Keep this drive alive. Slowly moving down the field. Dinking and dunking, and well, really, they're running it up the gut. And a two yard rush. And since this is, we're going to watch this. This is a big play. Third and five, you're at the 31. It's exactly where we took over with the Colts drive. We'll see what Ryland Brown can do. He's going to pass it on third and five, throws it. It's caught, guy wide open. And there's the, Steven Cruz there with the tackle with help from his cornerback, 35. And now we'll watch the rest of this drive, actually. So here we go. First and 10. Ryland Brown steps back, throws it, caught, and brought down is their running back. And the Chargers, I mean, this is going to be the end of the first quarter, 3-0. to zero. I mean, you're already doing better than what, the, than what the world assumed you would be doing right now. You have, and you're not only that, but you're, you're pushing, you're pushing um, to take the lead. So, I, I like their spot right now. Chargers could... Could we see an actual underdog story here? Y'all thought it was going to happen with Miami, but maybe uh, maybe L.A. Chargers were the team to actually watch out for. Oh, my God. Look at that one dude. He's – I think he's hurt. <laughs> that was – what the – that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. First and goal. Here we go. Ryland Brown, though, would throw a dot. Oh, but he dropped it. Incomplete. And Ryland Brown is – He's furious right there. That would have t given them the lead. We'll see what happens here. Ryland Brown, it's going to be a handoff. Oh, that's touchdown. No. Never mind. He's not as fast as I thought he was going to be. Third and goal now. We could see a stop here by the Colts. It's hard to finish these drives in the NFL. Throws that deep. Oh, and it looked like there might have been, should have been a flag. Maybe I don't know. Um. Good defense, though. He was all over him. That was. Let's see. Let's take another look at that. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's a good. That's good defense. And it was kind of a bad throw. I know he tried to put it. I'm going for it here. Um, where only the the receiver could get it, but that, that's a hard catch to make. So, Chargers won't take the lead, but they will tie the game up with a field goal here, which is good. And so now you you're giving the, the ball back to the Colts. It's first and ten. We're going to sim this drive here. Third and seven. Oh, my goodness. On third and seven, Carnahan bombs it down to Keystone Sylvester for a 23-yard reception. And they're driving down the field. We're going to do a full sim drive here for both sides to make it fair. So first, second and one, incomplete pass. Third and one, incomplete pass thrown away. And the Colts will probably settle for a field goal. It's good. Six to three, and now we will send a full drive for the Chargers. Second and three. They pick it up. See what happens now. It's a third and eight, though. And a 20-yard bomb to Brian Millard. 
Good freaking pass. Good pick up another one followed by Manny Anderson. And Ryland Brown has something cooking right now. Oh my god, another 20-yard bomb to Manny Anderson. And now they're four yards away from getting a touchdown, which they do. A little toss pass to Clint Bonner to get them in the end zone and take the lead against the freaking champions, the 12-4 and four Colts who are struggling, man. You just can't ever predict football. This is crazy right now. Not in this league, you can't. Third and six, and they go down, sacked. It's Dennis Dre, and now the Chargers are charging ahead here, especially if they can score here. Incomplete pass, though. Third and five, 16-yard pass to Dontrell Poli. Wow. And I'm getting dizzy from this spinning. Like <laughs> Third and ten. Um, we might have to hop in here you know, in a minute because... The spinning is kind of making me a little nauseous. Tight, uh, the Colts, though, they're driving down the field. And Rich Mays sacks Luke Carnahan. Luke Carnahan seems to be under distress right now. That's the second sack here in the in the quarter for, for the Chargers. And it looks like the Colts will just try and run it into halftime. Chargers will call one of their timeouts, though, and they'll end up just sending it into the third quarter, though. So 10-6 to 6 is your score right now. Wow, that's pretty crazy, right? I didn't expect this. First and ten, Luke Carnahan sacked once again. What's happening with that line in, in uh, Indianapolis? Are they being exposed right now? Second and 14, another sack. This time it's Rich Mays once again. What is happening right now? That 13-yard bomb doesn't matter. When it's when it was third and eighteen, so this is crazy, guys. Chargers have the ball. We will be hopping in when a team gets into the red zone, or at least the thirty. But right now, it's been nothing but defense. Chargers, though, are looking like the favorites. Believe it or not, we are just away from one big play changing the outcome, though. Chargers will end up having to punt that as well, and a six-yard dot to Derek Carmen. They're trying to get out of that safety area there. They don't want to take a safety here. Luke Carnahan. Penalty. Oh, my God. That sets them right back where they started at the three. <laughs> DJ Conrad, dude. That is the dumbest penalty to take. And it's first and 20. Oh, my God. And is that not a safety? He's down at the goal line, boys. I'm sorry, but we have to watch. We. This is such a big play. I wouldn't want to miss seeing a safety. They've been doing nothing but going backwards. We're going to watch the rest of this drive. How are they going to get out of this? I smell a safety coming on, boys. I taste it. It's a handoff. And it's a... Oh, he fights! Kinnick Neal picks up a yard after fighting for it. Third and 21. Who would have thought, man? Who would have thunk it? Oh, and he gets crushed. I mean, hey, you didn't take a safety there. Colts, that's all, <laughs> that's something to celebrate. <laughs> I cannot believe this right now, dude. I expected a blowout. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, so they punted away, and the Chargers better not waste this good field position. Second to 13, they go backwards. Then a drop pass by Matthew Olsen, Greg Olsen's son. And <laughs> then he follows it up with a 25-yard bomb to Noah. And now we're going to watch the rest of this drive. So let's do that. First and ten. I cannot believe what we've just what we're watching right now. We'll see what happens. Ryland Brown handoff to Poli who takes a move. Second and seven. Ryland Brown shotgun formation. This time going to keep it. Steps back, goes end zone. Oh, oh my God, it's caught, dude. One handed. What a freaking catch, dude. Kind of a dangerous pass there. Not, you know, not the best, but look at this. Dude, what a wraps it in. Who is that? I don't even know. It's Manny Anderson. What a name, dude. That's an awesome name, Manny Anderson. This sounds like a beast name, and he's beasting out there. Five wrecks for him, 58 yards. First and goal. Man in motion. It's going to be a handoff. No. Ryland Brown's going to keep it. Pressure coming. Oh, that could have been picked. 
too much of an effect. Luckily, it just falls to the ground. Second and goal. And it's going to be a handoff this time up the middle, but that's Owens to get to the running back there. We have not actually seen Steven Cruz make that big, big play yet. So we'll see what he can do here. You know, he wants to get it. And that's good defense by the Colts, man. It's the offense, surprisingly enough. It's the offense do, um, that, I mean, has shocked us for the Colts. They're kind of known for their offense. And, dude, they only have six points on the board right now. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash. And this so that will take us into the fourth quarter. They'll let it drip off here and get, take us into the fourth quarter. Let me go ahead. We're going to get back into the sim here. And the field goal is, whoa, it's missed. Even in the sim. Wow, okay. A missed field goal. That, my friends, is actually very bad because... Instead of going up by seven, <laughs> you now given Indianapolis the chance to actually take the lead if they score a touchdown. So that, my friends, could really come back to hurt them if Luke Carnahan comes out and does what I think he's going to do. And he's about to drive down the field. 19-yard reception to Dak Live. Finally, that subscriber gets his chance there to, to um, shine. 19-yard reception in a big way. First and 10, another 9-yard, but that was a 19-yard, now it's a 9-yard reception. Dak Live doing his thing. So is Luke Carnahan, he's filling it. Second and 1, and now it's Kenny Neal going, going backwards here. Third and 4. This is a big play. And it's a 9-yard reception to Martin Lowe. First and 10, 15-yard penalty against James Johnson. And they're just outside of the red zone. We'll send one more play. It's a 15-yard freaking dot to Dak Live. Holy crap. He, he, that right, this drive has been all Dak Live, basically. And Luke Carnahan, of course, for doing his thing, finally. And we're going to have to watch the rest of this drive. We got to five yards away. We don't want to miss anything. Now, we know it's hard to score when you're this close. Can the Colts do it? Toss play. Not going to work. And luckily, just he holds on to it. And it's second and goal now. I don't think you're okay with taking a field goal here. Can it nail? And <laughs> they're like, you know what? It's fine. We're not going to have to worry about taking a field goal here. It's Can it nail getting into the end zone. And they're doing their celebration dance. He's shaking his hips. Look at him. <laughs> doing his damn thing. Oh, man. This is such a, this is such a fun series. And such a fun different way to um, I don't know just play Madden I never thought I'd be doing Madden like this on the channel <laughs> but I'm glad that it is what it is today and it's only growing we have so many of you guys submitted into the next year's draft like I'm so excited for these rookies and I hope you guys are, are gonna be you know talking your crap because I can't wait to, to see the uh, the next big guy make it, you know. So here we go. We are going to sim just a little more. Pass knocked away. Got to be careful right there. Second and 10. Another pass knocked away. Okay. Third and 10. Got to be careful here, Rylan Brown. 24-yard reception. He doesn't know careful. He just knows how to bomb it down the field. And then he gets sacked. Oh, my God. Leonard's actually still out there playing. Holy crap, that's a real player. Uh, second and 14. Manny Anderson bombed down, and you know what? It's it's getting close to the end of the game. I want to watch more of this instead of simming. First and ten. Ray, uh, Rylan Brown, Manny Anderson connection has been phenomenal here today. You're going to have to slow that down if you're the Colts. And we'll see if they can do exactly that. There he is, the man himself, Steven Cruz. He's been not the biggest impact player here today, but over the season, he, he's he been there. Ryland Brown steps back. Go in. Oh, he had a guy wide open, but just missed him right there. Sets up a third and nine. Now, you will take a field goal here if you're the Chargers. Tie this game up, but you're thinking end zone here. Or, well, first down here. Ryland Brown goes deep. He says, I'm thinking end zone, actually. Matter of fact, 
I'm thinking end zone. Ryland Brown doesn't know how to, to, to play conservative. All he knows how is to chunk it down deep. And wow, don't tell me that's Mandy Anderson. <laughs> Boy, is that Rylan Brown to Manny Anderson connection is something to be reckoned with. Just shredded the Colts defense. Taking the lead right back. 17-13. I have a feeling that we're about to see an upset here in Indianapolis. So that drive takes him down the field at eight points. Them boys are pumped in L.A. I, I mean, I'm freaking pumped for them. The underdog story. 20-yard bomb down to Keiston Sylvester. First and 10, incomplete pass by Luke Carnahan. Second and 10, incomplete pass thrown away that time. And what's he going to do on third and 10? He's going to throw a 21-yard bomb to Dak Live, who's, let's be honest, he has shown up and showed out here in the fourth quarter. First and 10. Oh my God, Keiston Sylvester, another bomb, 21 yard. We gotta watch the rest of this. I was actually not, I was, I was wanting to watch the next play, but <laughs> hey, whatever. First and ten, they gotta finish this drive though. Like I said, it is hard to, to finish drives. They cannot settle for a field goal here, and this time it's Keenan Neal. So the Colts find themselves once again having to finish a drive. They can't settle for a field goal. Let's watch the rest of this game. We might as well watch the rest of the game. So we'll see what happens here. It's close enough. Second and nine. Hand off Kinnick Neal. He's got room. Tries, but gets cracked. Nothing happening right there. Luke Carnahan, third and six. He's stepping back. He's dumping it off to Kinnick Neal, and now. My question here is, do you actually settle for a field goal and trust your defense? I think you go for it here. I wouldn't kick a field goal. Take a shot into the end zone. And that's not what they're going to do. They're actually going to trust in their defense. So we'll see if that comes back to bite them or not. The field goal is up and good. 16-17 to is the score. The question is, was that the right call? Can your defense actually give you the ball back. You're going to have to end up using all three timeouts, and then that's going to leave it up to the EA time management. And we all know that doesn't uh, work so well. Well, not all of us, clearly. But uh, anybody who knows football knows that EA's time management is shit. <laughs> so, yeah. Dontrell Poli. Let's see what he does here. Chargers, Ryan Brown, Rylan Brown, ready to get this dub and move on. They know what's on the line here today. Oh, he gets cracked. His legs get taken out from under him. We know what's on the line, boys. The AFC championship is on the line. These boys are nervous out here. The Colts, they've been in this position before. But even they're nervous, especially since they're down by one. <laughs> There's only two minutes left. Another handoff here, and they they eat it up. And then they burn their first timeout, which is expected. It's now third down and six. What will we see? Expect a run here. They're going to pass it, and pressure's coming. He gets hit, but he... He's got room, but Steven Cruz comes up with the saving tackle. And they're not going to have to burn a timeout because guess what? He went out of bounds. He was one yard away. They went for the dagger there. I like the way the Chargers are playing. They have played aggressive. Rylan Brown stayed in the pocket, got hit. Steven Cruz, though, if he doesn't make that tackle, if he doesn't catch up and make that first initial contact on Poli, the game's over. Steven Cruz literally just saved the Colts' playoff chances of staying alive. He's been terrific so far. And and saves his offense. The Colts get out of that drive with two timeouts. And they get a lucky bounce as well. So this is um This is probably the best outcome if you if, if you're a Colts fan and a Colts player, the best outcome you could possibly have. A minute and 44 with two timeouts and a quarterback like Luke Carnahan. You got a chance here. You have a chance. All you need is a field goal, by the way, as well. So, Chargers might be regretting that decision. 
see what happens. Luke Carnahan, dot right, that right there. That's two Dak live, I believe. And he is very good at that playing that slot position. First and ten, Luke Carnahan once again this time. They'll take those yards though. They will. They have the time. Ten, okay, another ten second runoff. Now let's get a little, a little close here. Luke Carnahan, again another slant pass and. Dude, they are getting in. They are playing it too good right now. Almost too good to believe. Something bad's got to gotta happen. We'll see what happens here. Luke, uh, Luke Carnahan. Oh, my God. Did we just see the champions just kind of do exactly what they wanted? Did the Chargers just play in the hands of the Colts? Like It's almost like the Colts had this thing set up like this. And it's a handoff. Ken McNeil. Oh, my God. He's, dude. I feel so bad if the Chargers lose like this. That's such a such a way to lose. It sucks, man. That's crazy. I mean, there's not even a reason for the Colts to pass it again. So if they pass it here, which they do, that's another that's another just more proof that EA <laughs> they suck. But nonetheless, they didn't turn it over. And Luke Carnahan has his team in winning position and they call a timeout and they're going to go ahead and send probably they're going to send the kicking I would assume I would hope that they're going to kick the uh, send the you know the kicking unit out which it looks like they will the Chargers take their timeout to try and ice the kicker and this is the last chance right here it's it's on the line here it's up it's right down the middle. And it is now 19 to 17 and the champions take the lead with eight seconds left. Oh my God. That sucks for the Chargers, dude. Oh man. Luke Carnahan, Steven Cruz, and these guys are trying to keep the dynasty alive. They're trying to create a dynasty. And they're going back once again to the AFC Championship if they don't give up a big play here. Rylan Brown isn't counting his team out yet. Five seconds. What can he do? He likes to bomb it deep. He steps back. He takes a hit. He throws it up. It's in the air. And it's broken up. Incomplete. And the Chargers are going home. And the champions are still alive. They're still the champions. And they're going once again, two years in a row, to the AFC Championship. Think about the journey. What a game, though. Gotta hand it to them, them Charger boys, man. They fought their butts off against the best team in the league, the champions. Team who, you know, they won the Super Bowl last year. That's a hard team you're going to have to face. And they faced them the best way they knew how, and they did. They stood up, and they, they fought them hard, man. Two five-year veteran quarterbacks at it. Rylan Brown threw two touchdown passes. The Colts are winning. I mean, he really did his thing, dude. Um, he wasn't the most accurate, though. That that could have definitely been a lot better. But we all know Rylan Brown. He's like, he reminds me of like a, a young Brett Favre. His number's even number four, so he might actually, his favorite player might actually be Brett Favre because he likes to take those chances. You know, he likes to, to bomb it down deep, and that's exactly how he played it. And he did good. Um, Ken McNeil played good when he needed to. Nothing phenomenal or anything, but he, he did good. But, man, what about Manny Anderson? This poor guy, you know, he played his heart out. And then Dak Live, subscriber, wide receiver, he was nowhere to be found until the fourth quarter came around. And then he dominated, man. Six receptions, 71 yards. He did his thing out there. And then, of course, we'll take a look at Steven Cruz with six tackles. And let's not forget that saving, that game-saving tackle. Because if you think the Chargers get a first down there, they run the rest of the clock out and it's over. He made a big play. And I was saying it the whole game. He's due for a big play. He's due for a big play. And he did it literally at the last second, but he did it. Now, that's going to be in the, the end of this video. But do you guys know what's next? It's that purple... Oh man, it's that purple team. It's that it's that it's that crap talk that's been brewing for for weeks and weeks. It is, my friends.
the Minnesota Vikings versus the Chicago Bears. Them Bears boys are ready to do it again. It's been a while since they've been there, but they're ready. They haven't been there since year one, and the Vikings haven't been there at all, and they're ready to take out the, the bully Bears. This is going to be a good one. It's, it's Saturday. It's 8 p.m. It's going to be a night game. I'm excited, boys. You let me know if you're excited. Smash that like button. It really helps the channel out, guys. You're crushing the likes. Please keep doing it. It, it really does help the channel, and it makes, it makes me know that you guys actually enjoyed the video itself. So, And also, always comment, whether it's being, you know, um, more backstory or more crap talk for your character that's in this universe or if it's just you know something you want to share with the world whatever it is your comments are always appreciated and so is your support I love you guys I hope you guys are having an amazing amazing day and as always I will see you on the next one peace